Humans are responsible for the global climate change, period. And we hope to hear more from the panel, but uh, these scientists say it's a really tough this assessment. It's true. Provides the scientific evidence that the world has already been recognizing for a number of years, but that even those who had doubts can no longer now ignore. Yeah, and things are going to get worse, too. You know, we should really kind of warn you before we show this because this is really tough video to watch. Two men who are supposed to take care of the mentally disabled man you saw there, slap them around instead. Our police got a hold of this evidence. And cracking down on gangs in school. Los Angeles launching a brand new Get Tough effort, keeping kids, they hope, keep those kids safe. The Fox 11 Morning News at 6 o'clock begins now. Now, this is the Fox 11 Morning News. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Fox 11 Morning News at 6 o'clock on a Friday morning. Yay. I'm Tony McEwen. I'm Jean Martirez. February 2nd, we go outside Rick Dickert in Skybox telling us of a really nice hey. warm up. Hey, Jean. Hey, Tony. That's right. Feb 2nd. That means Groundhog Day. Good old Puxatani Phil came out, did not see his shadow. That means an early spring across the U.S. looking live from Sky Fox over downtown. Happy Friday, everyone. Yep, we made it to the weekend and we are looking great as we head into the weekend. High pressure starting to build at the surface and aloft over California. We're gonna get an offshore flow by tomorrow. Still enough of an onshore push this morning for some areas of low clouds and fog. Some of the fog could be dense, but lots of sunshine this afternoon, a lot more than yesterday and milder temperatures. Five degrees or more in most areas. High temperatures will mostly be in the mid, possibly even upper 60s. Right now, though, kind of cool out there with readings in the 40s. Here's your weekend outlook. Sunny skies with temperatures warming up nicely. 73 on Saturday with some offshore winds below the passes and canyons as that surface high builds into Nevada. And then Super Bowl Sunday, a super day on tap. 79 degrees. We may even reach 80 degrees. Let's see how the freeways are shaking down on this Friday. Rick's got an update. Happy Friday, Rick. Hey, likewise, Rick. And good morning to everybody. Sigler affecting the 405, but first, we're looking at a live shot. Skyfox flying over the 5 freeway and the East LA interchange. There you see all those vehicles moving. Fortunately, they are moving. None of them are standing still. Further up in Lincoln Heights, north 5 at Pasadena Avenue, there's a crash. A couple of vehicles on the right shoulder. This is earlier Skyfox footage of the South Nagoyan Sigler, South 405 at Sunset Boulevard. Carpool lane blocked at this time. Traffic coming out of the pass starting to get busy and starting to get slow. So uh, give yourself some extra time there. And also the five heading south approaching the 170. Watch out for another collision involving a couple of vehicles blocking the right lane. Tony and Jean, back to you. All right. Thanks, Officer Rick. It is the strongest language ever used on the issue of global warming. It comes from an international panel of scientists saying climate change is definitely being blamed on us. Rick Lozano, you've got the latest on this report. Well, it's being blamed on us, Tony and Gene. Good morning, everybody, because of the fossil fuels that we burn, such as the gas and the oil that we burn in our cars every single day. And as Gene mentioned, uh, it is very telling that the language they use in this report coming out of their conference in Paris is as strong as it is. The bottom line is this. Global warming is real. It is with us, and we have no one to blame but ourselves. I think anyone who would continue to risk inaction on the basis of the evidence presented here, will one day in the history books be considered irresponsible. The gloomy news from a meeting of hundreds of scientists in Paris. Global warming has begun, and there is a better than 90% chance that it is caused by man's burning of fossil fuels, and it gets worse. In the decades ahead, they tell us, we can expect hotter temperatures, some say up to an average of 11 and a half degrees by the end of this century, and that sea levels will continue to rise as well, up to 23 inches by the year 2100. The alarming news is that those numbers will keep going up no matter how much we begin to control pollution from this point on. Even so, scientists say there is still time to take action. Every individual can today walk out of their front door and cut their emissions by more than what Kyoto had ever envisaged or by what we are talking about for this century without having to lose the quality of their lives. Scientists agree that the melting of polar ice caps together with the warming of the atmosphere makes it very likely that global climate changes are due to the burning of fossil fuels. Those changes, they say, are responsible for stronger hurricanes like the ones we've seen in the Atlantic Ocean recently, like Hurricane Katrina. They say their findings are based on rock-solid information. Their next report is due in April and will deal with more of the effects of global warming.
We're live in Rancho Cucamonga this morning. Tony, Gene, that's it from here. We'll send it back to you. Rick, thank you. The city of Los Angeles says enough is enough, launching a new effort to crack down on gangs near schools in South Los Angeles and the San Fernando Valley. Elizabeth Espinoza live now at Grant High in Van Eyes with more for us this morning. Hey, Elizabeth. Tony, Gene, everybody, good morning. You know, Los Angeles Unified is said to be the second largest school district in the country. But as you might imagine, our kids can't get the grade if they're dodging bullets. That's why LA City Attorney Rocky Delgadillo has launched a school safety plan. And first, they're starting with a school infested with gang problems. From my point of view, Markham Middle School has essentially become a taxpayer-funded gang recruitment center. So we're throwing down the gauntlet. We're taking a stand. And we're going to meet it head on right here at Markham Middle School. Rocky says it's really bad out there. Markham Middle School in the heart of Watts. And students tell us it's getting to the point that you have to join a gang in order to survive. Seven gangs claim the surrounding territory, but hopefully that will change under Delgadillo's school safety plan, which will place two special prosecutors on campus and require students to wear uniforms. Parents tell us kids in these neighborhoods are gunned down because of what they wear. Just last month, two students at Grant High School here in Van Nuys were shot, another wounded at Silmar High School, and last Wednesday at noon, a 17-year-old student was killed a block away from Monroe High School. And according to the city attorney's office, from 2003 to 2006, there were eight murders, 145 assaults with a deadly weapon around Marka Middle School. This is a middle school. And they also tell us that all in all, this is a community effort that needs to be done in order to stop the violence. That's the very latest reporting live from Van Nuys. I'm Elizabeth Espinosa. Tony and Jean, back to you in the studio. Oh, horrible. All right, Elizabeth. Uh, this is bad, too. In Iraq, more fighting. U.S. forces killing at least 18 insurgents during a fierce battle in Ramadi. Also, the military looking into reports that a U.S. chopper was shot down north of Baghdad. A new classified report says internal fighting is now the main <clears> source <throat> of violence in Iraq, according to the Washington Post. The new national intelligence <laughs> estimate concludes that Iraqi on Iraqi violence has now surpassed al-Qaeda as the biggest threat to the United States attaining its goals. The report is somewhat optimistic that conditions will improve. However, it casts doubt over whether Iraq's leaders will actually step up and take control. It's 6.06 now. The two men behind that terrorism scare in Boston, well, you won't believe what they're saying right now to explain what in the world creative ad. It was a creative ad, right, Tony, to, to get buzz for their show. Um, and also, we've got a mea culpa from San Francisco's mayor. I am also sorry that I've let the people of San Francisco down. Gavin uh, they expect a lot of their mayor. Gavin Newsom admitting to and apologizing for having an affair. But do the voters really care? Letters from Iwo Jima has been nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Director Clint Eastwood, and winner of the Golden Globe Award for Best Picture of the Year. Letters from Iwo Jima, rated R, now playing. Amped Mobile World Supercross GP and Amped Mobile AMA Supercross Series brought to you locally by Big O Tires Red Cards. It's your last chance to see Superstars Chad Reach and Stuart and more. February 3rd, Angel Stadium. There is no better way to start or rebuild a credit rating than buying a car. Carson Toyota can and will help put you in a new Toyota right now for as little as $500 down. Even if you've been turned down because of a bankruptcy or repossession, come see us. Maybe you're a first-time buyer or have never established your own credit. That's okay. Carson Toyota's finance experts will help you right now. Call 1-800-90-TOYOTA. Stop by today. Drive away today. Carson Toyota, just off the 405 at the Wilmington exit. How you like that? The most acclaimed actor of his generation in the role of a lifetime. Peter O'Toole gives a career-crowning performance. An Academy Award nominee for Best Actor. It's my goodbye to you. Venus, rated R, now playing. Fox 11 Undercover investigates the worst gang murder of 2006. What happened and what we should learn from it. Save my life forever. Monday on the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. Fox Friday, when spoiled kids' toys rule the house, Nanny 911 becomes Repo Nan. Me. Everything's gone. All new Nanny 911. Then a same sex couple swaps with an intolerant new spouse. Your birth defect happened to be that you're gay. Trading spouses meet your new mommy. It all starts tonight at 8 on Fox 11.
Good morning, everyone. Rich Tickard up in Sky Fox. Happy Friday. Looking live over Santa Fe Springs here, and we're looking nice. Clear skies here, some patches of low clouds and fog. Also, a brilliant full moon. It's starting to set off to the west, so check it out as you head out. we got Groundhog Day, and then we have that report coming out of Paris, the IPCC's fourth assessment on climate change. The news is not good, as Rick Lozano has been telling us. The forecast for us, though, 73 tomorrow, 79 on Super Bowl Sunday, 78 on Monday. Really nice, high pressure dominating, an offshore flow developing. The changes coming our way late next week, possibly some pretty good rain. Perhaps a weekend escape, Vegas for the Super Bowl Sunday weekend. Sunny skies today through the weekend with temperatures coming up. Back to you guys. All right, Rick, thank you. For the first time in nearly a decade, the Senate has passed a bill to up the minimum wage, but Republicans are warning Democrats not to tamper with the legislation before the bill actually heads to the president's desk. Wages will go up $2.10 an hour over the next two years, but here's the problem. The House version of the bill does not have the $8.3 billion in corporate tax breaks that the Senate version has. That doesn't work. The two bills have to agree. That means Congress has to compromise, and that might be a problem. The federal increase will not affect California, by the way, where the state minimum wage rose to $7.50 an hour on January 1st. So does it mean it's going to go up here in California? Maybe that could happen. Okay, in a move which could escalate tensions with the West, Iran has reportedly started work on an underground uranium enrichment bunker. A diplomat with the UN's nuclear watchdog group saying people have been, in his words, working feverishly at the facility for weeks. A spokesman for the American delegation uh, to that watch group group, that watchdog group I was telling you about, says that this type of work is essential to make nuclear weapons, but is not necessary for peaceful nuke programs. Iran insists that its nuclear intentions are peaceful. 611 right now, there may be more victims of a sexual predator on the attack in a Montecito Heights park. This man now under arrest, how police say that he managed to grab his victims. There's a guy in Texas building his own rocket. The government already has a space program, Mr. Farmer. Do you really think they're going to let you go up in outer space? Well, I hate to be the one breaking it to you, but you are not an astronaut, Charlie. Warner Brothers Pictures presents... You are one fabulous father. Academy Award winner Billy Bob Thornton, Virginia Madsen. When I was a kid, they used to tell me that I could be anything I wanted to be. Show them how it's done. The Astronaut Farmer. I expect you home for dinner. Rated PG. Starts February 23rd. Studies show that if I do well in college, I'll do better my whole life. And if I do well in high school, I'm more likely to go to college. And if I do well in elementary school, I'll have a better chance of graduating high school. And if I start kindergarten well prepared, I'll do better in elementary school. So if a child goes to preschool, which prepares him for kindergarten, he'll do better his entire life. A message from First Five California. It's Empire's half-price home interior sale. Save 50% on hardwood laminate and ceramic tile flooring and make your money go a lot further. Like down the hall, into the den. Shop at home and choose from a great selection. All durable and easy to care for. And we install next day. You'll save 50% with no payments till April 2008. Empire's half-price home interior sale. Call now and get more floor for less. 800-588-2300 Empire. Today. Extra strength Rolaid soft shoes. They relieve heartburn fast. And now they do something more. Tasty, delicious, chewy, not chalky. Plus, now they do something more. Rolaid stops heartburn. And now the pressure and bloating of gas. Rolaid's Plus Gas Relief has the most effective anti-gas medicine. Tums doesn't. Extra strength Rolaid's Plus. Extra strength heartburn and gas relief, too. And Ferguson on the 17th. Oh, that's trouble. Nothing is lost with the full HD 1080p Aquas from the leading innovator of liquid crystal television, Sharp. 
Police think that a man accused of attacking women at an area park may have actually victimized others who haven't yet come forward. 19-year-old Hugo Gutierrez is charged with kidnapping and sexual assault. Take a good look here. Detectives say that this guy grabbed at least three women at gunpoint. All were out jogging about noontime at Ernest Debs Park near Montecito Heights. One woman was able to trick Gutierrez to get away. Listen to this. One woman feigned an illness and begged him to let her go to her car to get some medicine. Yeah, good trick. LAPD detectives are asking anyone with information on possible attacks to please call. All right, 615 right now. We're hoping for Friday morning light. Officer Rick. <laughs> Hey, good morning, Tony and Gina. Overall, we do have some relatively light conditions, but right now the 405 and the 605, uh, we've got Skyfox actually over the 605 at the 60, heading out of uh, El Monte there. Traffic not looking too bad of shape, coming out of industry. Uh, southbound side is coming towards us. That's starting to load up. Also, taking a look at that earlier Skyfox footage of an ongoing Sigler South 405 at Sunset Boulevard. Carpal lane is still blocked at this time. Earlier, multiple vehicle collision. Traffic is heavy coming out of the Sepulveda Pass, so expect some delays heading towards West LA. And also, some residual slowing still reported South 5 at the 170. Earlier collision, multiple vehicles also blocking the slow lane. Tony and Gene, back to you. Rick, thank you. Representative Loretta Sanchez quits the Hispanic Congressional Caucus after she says another member called her, quote, a whore. Sanchez and Representative Hilda Solis said caucus chairman Representative Joe Baca made that comment at an event in Sacramento over the summer. Baca denies it. There's also a claim that some of the male members of the caucus were often disrespectful of the women while they were trying to speak at caucus meetings. 616 now. We are counting down to one of the biggest days for sports fans. Of course, we're talking about Super Bowl, Tony. Oh, yeah. And you and I have our favorites. Uh, the Bears. Uh, taking on the Colts and Peyton Manning. Uh, we've got all the players getting ready. A lot of emotion. That first quarter, and it's going to be like you played a whole fourth quarter game. Well, the Indianapolis Colts are the big favorites, but of course, we think the Chicago Bears will pull this one off. The Bears. We hear from the teams coming up. Fox 11 News is sponsored by Nissan, who invites you to shift the way you move through the world. Active? Definitely. Hey! The gym, the track, the field. Unstoppable? That's me. The next generation Nissan Sentra just awarded five stars for frontal crash test safety. Life's 24 7. So is my Nissan Sentra. Busy? That's an understatement. My week, it's like one long day. Perfect. So where do I chill out? The next generation Nissan Sentra. Only $189 a month. Life is 24 7. So is my Nissan Sentra. There are many reasons to love oh. someone. Hi, honey. Because she's your mother. Stop being a helicopter, Mom. You're hovering. Because they're your sisters. We're going to rock, paper, scissors to see whose house Mom's going to stay at. <gasps> oh, you win, Mills. That's great. Because she's your daughter. You ought to button those buttons. You look like you're asking for it. I am asking for it. And sometimes just... Because I said so. Because I said so. That was on a Hallmark card we gave you. Because I said so. Rated PG-13. Now playing. Across a puzzling parade of gadgets, a brilliant little phone snaps open for double duty. While one highly evolved entertainment system lights up the living room. Simply what matters. When you, when you use the Kleenex tissue, you have to squeeze on both sides and then blow. Wait, you haven't broke her. Harder. Good. Now go throw that away. When you let it out, you feel better. When you come to Vons and Pavilions, you save. Get Kleenex facial tissue, four for only $5. Cold and flu season comes with lots of stuff that stuffs up noses. Shop at Vons and Pavilions. You'll feel better for it. Double mocha cappuccinos with whip and sprinkles. Welcome to now. Right now, you're about to scarf down that beverage faster than you can pronounce it. Good thing you know about new special K2O protein water. It could save you from this now, and it could help keep your mind off the mocha whatevers. New special K2O protein water. Five grams of protein, 50 calories, three delicious flavors. What's the difference between a sweet snack and a sweet snack that satisfies? Now you know the difference is K. Find it in the diet and nutrition aisle.
Special chicken. Now just $5.99. Only at Pickup Sticks restaurants. It was the perfect kingdom until 1 1 changed it all. Unravel happily ever after. I am not going to let you get away with this. Cinderella 3, a twist in time on Disney DVD this Tuesday. Made G. John Beaver, Christine Devine, the Box 11 10 o'clock news. I've been saying it all week, Rick Dickert. I'm living for the weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's... Because you can still hear that cold he's got going. That's right. Drier conditions, sunny skies, milder, warmer temperatures. If you have outdoor plans or want to putz around the lawn in your backyard, it's all going to be good. 73 tomorrow, 79 degrees perhaps in the downtown area on Super Bowl Sunday. Today, a transition day. Still have enough of an onshore push to produce some areas of low clouds and fog. Some of the fog in patches could be locally dense, but a lot of sunshine later on today. A big difference from yesterday, and we will warm up five, six, maybe even seven degrees in some spots. 66 in San Gabriel, mid 60s in most areas, maybe even some upper 60s in the mildest spots. We're climbing back to close to seasonal averages. 66 in San Bernardino High there. Good morning, Hemet. You'll top off at 63. Valleys and IE, here's your five day forecast. Again, just some areas of low clouds and fog early this morning. Otherwise, sunny skies, 66 on average. But again, some areas could reach 68 or 69. 75 on Saturday. High pressure is going to build inland, and we're going to get an offshore flow. So breezy conditions tomorrow on the valleys below the passes and canyons. Sunday looking great with temperatures possibly in the lower 80s in the valleys. And this is a forecast for downtown L.A. A super weekend with high pressure in control, mostly sunny skies right through Sunday. 73 on Saturday and 79 degrees on Sunday. Looking good, but big changes possibly for the end of next week, right in time for Gene's big outdoor oh, event. stop it, stop it. Stop. <laughs> it's a charity event too, Rick. Okay, so you better adjust those models of yours. All right, uh, thanks a lot, Rick. It is 621, coming up on 622. All right, we got more on the Super Bowl. Of course, yes, it's more than just a game because there's lots of money to be made in those ads, those uh, television spots. Huge halftime show too. Prince is headlining the show, and he gave a musical response when reporters asked about it. Fox 11 News is sponsored by Foster Farms Fresh Chicken. Always natural, always fresh, always California grown. West Coast, here we come. We'll be Foster Farms Chickens in no time. <laughs> hey. We're here. Two fresh Foster Farms chickens. No way from Foster Farms. Yeah. Foster Farms fresh chicken. Always natural, always fresh, always California grown. She's expecting candy. She'd rather have diamonds. Give her both with Crescent's Valentine's Day gift box filled with candy in this diamond circle of hearts pendant that says how much you love her. All just $99 at Crescent Jewelers. Questions are being asked about why the Queen hasn't addressed her subjects at this time of national grief. The Queen has been recognized as the best reviewed movie of the year, now nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The Queen, rated PG 13. Homeowners, how would you like to drastically lower your mortgage payments? How about a fixed payment of 3.49% for up to five years? That's right, Greenlight Financial Services is now offering an unbelievably low 3.49% payment fix for up to five years. Call now and take advantage of this opportunity for lower mortgage payments. This deal is only good for a limited time. So call now, 866-66-FASTER. 866-66-FASTER. You've got the green light. Maybe you want a sedan designed for the driver. Or one that's designed to protect its passengers. Or one that can outrun the price of gas. There's a way to have all three. Introducing the 2007 Saturn Aura Midsize Sedan. Get a new 2007 Saturn Aura, named North American Car of the Year, starting at $20,995. Break away from your everyday and escape to Pachanga, Southern California's prime entertainment destination. Pachanga Resort and Casino, close to you, far from your everyday. Whoa! 
be a lady tonight. Celebrate life's journey together with Crescent's new quarter carat journey diamond pendants, an elegant series of graduated diamonds to symbolize your growing love. Now just $1.99 at Crescent Jewelers. On the next morning show, time for football. Chef Guy Fieri shows us how to throw the best Super Bowl bash on a budget. The day of 10 on Fox 11. Well, we're just a little more than, what, 48 hours from the Bears and the Colts meeting in Miami for Super Bowl 41, where they're already in Miami. Bears quarterback Rex Grossman says this is a game he's been looking forward to since he was a little kid. This is obviously the ultimate goal for everyone that's played football. Um, so you dream about it, but, you know, you never really, you know, you know, think about it. You, you kind of just want to, oh, man, I want to play in the NFL. And then once you get to the NFL, it's like, you know, I want to play in the Super Bowl. Well, Bears fans are hoping that the emotion and speed of the game really will not distract Roseman. Speaking of distractions, Colts head coach Tony Dungy is using somewhat of an unorthodox move to keep his players from being distracted. We've got some, you know, wives and families and everybody here, and so we want to leave that environment and get back to what we always do so the families don't have to move out. We'll just take our players and, and be more on the normal routine. We thought it was a secret. Uh, I heard that the name of the hotel is already out, so it won't be uh, that much of a secret. But we are going to change. We're going to leave our families and everybody here and uh, just go to a, a new hotel on Saturday. Yeah, nothing's a secret. The Colts remain a seven-point favorite leading into Sunday's game. He really thought that they keep, keep, he could keep that secret. Uh, it's the only now. thing in town, Miami, this weekend. And oh well. Okay. Hey, Lisa, we got a really cool. Con Love I love this story. You know, because Prince, you know, Prince exactly. for the most part just does not do press. Doesn't. Speaks very little. So instead of a press conference yesterday in Miami, he did this. Gave a little preview of his halftime performance at the Super Bowl that will be taking place, of course, on Sunday. Before the press conference, reporters were told not to expect Prince to take any questions during the planned news conference, and I don't think anyone seemed to mind. Not at all. Uh, Lindsay Lohan has backed out of a movie role that would have had her starring alongside Annette Bening. Lohan won't be working on the upcoming film, A Woman of No Importance. That's so she can, quote, focus on getting better. She is currently working on another film, I Know Who Killed Me, and production on that movie had been halted when she had to have surgery to get her appendix removed, and then she's currently undergoing rehab at Wonderland. She has been criticized for not taking her recovery seriously, so now she is going to take some time for herself. Coming up, we have all the new movies that are coming out this weekend, so we'll have that for you. Tony, maybe it'll be something for you in yes. case you're not watching the Super Bowl out there. You know, and folks. I will be, so I can't wait for that. All right, Lisa, thank you. 627 right now. Well, we have no one to blame but ourselves. Human influence on climate change is much more certain, much with much greater confidence than we had in the past. A very grim assessment on global warming, why the scientists are so pessimistic. And yeah. That's not the only thing they do. One man arrested, police searching for another after a mentally disabled man. He's got the mental capacity of a two-year-old. The guy is beaten by his caretaker. The Fox 11 Morning News at 6.30 begins now. Now, this is the Fox 11 Morning News. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Fox 11 Morning News. Coming up on 6.30, I'm Tony McEwen. And I'm Jean Martirez. So glad you're with us. So glad it's Friday. We have a lot to be grateful for. Right, Rick? Oh, yeah. Friday, it's Groundhog Day. Puxatawney Phil did not see his shadow, so that means an early spring. We're looking at spring-like conditions today across Southern California, maybe even summer-like this weekend as high pressure at the surface and a lot starts to build inland over the state and into Nevada and we start to get an offshore flow. Today though, still enough of an onshore flow to produce some areas of low clouds and fog early this morning. Otherwise, hazy sunshine. Cool right now with readings in the 40s, but later on today, mid, maybe even high 60s. 67, the forecast high for downtown Los Angeles and inland Orange County. Valleys and IE on average 66, but I would not be surprised if we saw 68 degrees or maybe even 69. By mid-morning, temperatures warming up into the lower 50s or so, and then by this afternoon, 67 degrees with a hazy sunshine, clear skies at happy hour time. 
59 degrees. Coming up, the weekend forecast. Rick and Tara, an update on our Friday morning commute. Hey, Rick. Hey, thanks a lot, Rick. Good morning, Tara. Everybody starting off with the Inland Empire traffic watch. Starting to show some yellow lights, some typical slowing on this Friday morning, as well as a collision. East 91 approaching Lincoln Avenue, crash involving a couple of vehicles blocking the center lane, as well as West 210 at Haven. Another crash, this one in the center divider. Moving over to some activity on the 405 northbound side, approaching the 405. Collision blocking the carpool and the left two lanes has been pushed off to the right shoulder and traffic is recovering. And also drive time on the Foothill Freeway 210 heading west from the 57 over to the 134. Normal commute time 16 minutes, real time is 27 minutes through this stretch of the 210 freeway. Tony and Gene, back to you. Rick, thank you. It is the strongest language ever used on the issue of global warming. An international panel of scientists says we are to blame. Yes, us. Rick Lozano joins us from Rancho Cucamonga with details this morning. Rick, good morning. Well, good morning, Tony and Gene. Good morning, everybody. And it is rare that so many scientists would agree on one thing, but that is the case with regard to global warming. These scientists meeting at a conference in Paris, they tell us that global warming is here and we won't be able to stop it or reverse the effects of it for centuries. I think anyone who would continue to risk inaction on the basis of the evidence presented here will one day in the history books be considered irresponsible. The coming news from a meeting of hundreds of scientists in Paris. Global warming has begun, and there is a better than 90% chance that it is caused by man's burning of fossil fuels. And it gets worse. In the decades ahead, they tell us we can expect hotter temperatures, some say up to an average of 11 and a half degrees by the end of this century, and that sea levels will continue to rise as well up to 23 inches by the year 2100. The alarming news is that those numbers will keep going up no matter how much we begin to control pollution from this point on. Even so, scientists say there is still time to take action. Every individual can today walk out of their front door and cut their emissions by more than what Kyoto had ever envisaged or by what we're talking about for this century without having to lose the quality of their lives. Scientists agree that the melting of polar ice caps together with the warming of the atmosphere makes it very likely that global climate changes are due to the burning of fossil fuels. Those changes, they say, are responsible for stronger hurricanes like the ones we've seen in the Atlantic recently, like Hurricane Katrina. They say their findings are based on rock-solid information. The next report from them is due in April and will deal with more of the effects of global warming. We're live in Rancho Cucamonga this morning. Gene, Tony, that's it from here. We'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Rick. The city of Boston defending its reaction to the electronic devices that were placed all over town. The two guys accused of placing them, pleading not guilty to disorderly conduct and planting a hoax device. Wednesday, police shut down large portions of Boston until they figured out this whole thing is a big promotional campaign for the Cartoon Network or Cartoon Show. Well, after court, the two guys here holding a really odd news conference. What we really want to talk about today, it's it's kind of important to some people. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of important to some people. It's uh, haircuts in the 70s. What do you think yeah. about what happened yesterday? Um, that's a very good question. Thank you. I think my dreadlocks are pretty nice and they're going to keep growing for a little while. Uh, what was it like to spend last night in jail? I, that's not a hair question. I'm sorry. Are you afraid that if uh, you go to prison, you'll get your hair cut? Um, that's a very good question. On it when similar devices had been placed in other cities, including here in L.A. However, nothing big happened. The two men are out on $2,500 bail, and they could face up to five years in prison if they're convicted. Oh, boy, things are all abuzz in San Francisco. A stunning admission from San Francisco Mayor Gavin Newsom. He admits that he had an affair with the wife of one of his closest advisors about a year and a half ago. Tony Valdez has reaction. I've hurt someone I care deeply about, Alex Turk, his friends and family. And that is something that I have to live with and something that I am deeply sorry for. That's Alex Turk with a microphone in his hand. Turk resigned as manager of Newsom's re-election campaign after confronting the mayor about reports that his wife, Ruby Rippy Turk, had had an affair with Newsom when she worked as his appointment secretary, a post she left last spring. I... I'm also sorry that I've let the people of San Francisco down. 
they expect a lot of their mayor. And my personal lapse of judgment aside, uh, I am committed to restoring their trust and confidence. San Francisco's former mayor, Willie Brown, fathered a baby out of wedlock while he was in office, and he's confident Newsom will survive just as he did. This is San Francisco. You don't suffer from anything except poor job performance. That's what causes you. That will cost you your job, but personal relationships will not. It didn't hurt Clinton. It didn't hurt Hillary Clinton. Why should it hurt him? Tony Valdez reporting. Mayor Newsom currently has a 70% approval rating. It's even been higher than that at times. There's been no comment from Alex or Ruby Turk. Okay, this is really tough to see. A cell phone capturing two mentally disabled men being slapped repeatedly at a facility that's supposed to be taking care of them. Bob DeCastro in Anaheim with the story and the really disturbing, unsettling pictures here, Bob. So disturbing, Gene. Good morning. Police have already arrested one suspect. They're still looking for another uh, involved, may have been involved in this alleged abuse. We're talking about, as you said, beating, slapping around defenseless, developmentally disabled uh, men at this uh, facility in Anaheim people they were supposed to take care of, and they seemingly enjoyed it so much they recorded it on a camera cell phone. The video was taken here in a restroom at the vo uh, Jocelyn Vocational Facility last March and April. A caregiver seen smacking and taunting men. One can't even speak. He has the mental capacity of a two-year-old. The abuse might have gone unnoticed had the owner of the cell phone not sold it to a co-worker. When that person bought the phone, he uh, discovered the video. He turned it over to the vocational facility, and they turned it over to the police. Detectives arrested uh, the man they believe on the video is on the video, 22-year-old Patrick Solis of Southgate, and they're still looking for Michael Douglas Rama, who owned the cell phone. As you might imagine, so many people disgusted by these images. Someone is heard laughing on the video as the victims are frightened, cowering, and screaming. This is going on a lot more than we're aware of. The fact is we were very fortunate this time because they videotaped themselves. Detectives shudder to think how much more abuse took place, what wasn't recorded. What's scary is that the one suspect, Patrick Solis, who was arrested, he left this facility after the alleged abuse, and he was working at a similar facility in L.A. County. He's been arrested on suspicion of felony, false imprisonment, and dependent abuse. He's posted a $25,000 bail. Again, the police are still searching for the owner of the cell phone, Michael Douglas Rama. He was last living in Long Beach. If you have any information about him, contact police. That's the very latest from Anaheim. Bob DeCastro, Tony, and Gene, back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. And we have breaking news at 637. Yeah, let's go to Mid-City and Sky Fox overhead with Rick. Big backup here through Mid-City. Gene, Tony, this is on the Ooh. 10 westbound at Arlington Avenue. Three cars collided. Two went up the embankment there. The other ended up on the Arlington on-ramp to the westbound 10. Couple of trees taken out. Far right lane blocked on the main line. The left lane of the Arlington on-ramp to the west 10 block. Look at this. It's doing a number on the 10 west. If you typically take this to make your way to the west side, you might want to think about taking Pico or Wilshire as an alternate route. All right. Temperatures are going to start to warm up today. Check out yesterday's highs in white. Today's forecast highs in yellow. Anywhere from about 5 to 8 degrees warmer we're expecting today. Definitely a lot more sunshine. Hazy sunshine. We will see some areas of low clouds and fog this morning as we still have a little bit of an onshore push. But high pressure at the surface and aloft will start to build inland tonight into tomorrow. We'll get an offshore flow, breezy conditions below the passes and canyons. That'll scour out the marine layer. Sunny skies, warmer tomorrow, and even warmer on Sunday. July 1st through January 31st, the sixth driest on record here in Los Angeles since record keeping began at USC. The jet stream well to the north. Changes, though, coming late next weekend, but this weekend looking great. Sunny skies, a super weekend on tap, 73 on Saturday. 79 on Sunday. And Tony and Gene, we were talking weather yesterday. This is Mrs. Domino's first grade class at Jefferson Elementary in Pasadena. A sharp group of kids. I got my weather instruments there. We talked weather, clouds, the hydraulic cycle. Good times there at Jefferson Elementary School in Pasadena. Back you to you. You give out your rain gauges like you do? Uh, sometimes I'll uh, leave a little uh, little gift for him. And who yeah. was that first grader right there in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. There you go. <laughs> All right, Rick. Thank you very much. 639 right now. Trouble on the set. A Paris Hilton's new movie, mm. Dorothy Has the Tales, and the latest on a developing story, a deadly tornado in Florida. Yeah, these are live pictures from Lady Lake, Florida, just outside of Orlando. At least two people dead. Fox 11 News is sponsored by Cars and Toyota. Over 800 Toyotas available online at carsandtoyota.com.
like Toyotas? Well, now's the time to buy. And here's the place to buy, Carson Toyota. We're under construction right now to build a brand new state-of-the-art dealership. But the Toyotas keep coming. 800 Toyotas every month. Camrys, Corollas, the all-new Tundra, and more. So come on down and take your pick. We're out of room, and that means great news for you. Great news and great deals. Carson Toyota, just off the 405 freeway at the Wilmington exit in Carson. How you like that? Ladies and gentlemen, the dreams. Dream Girls has been nominated for eight Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actor and Best Supporting Actress. Dream Girls is a triumph. Dream Girls, rated PG-13, now playing. Whether it's game day, yeah! or you're having a cocktail party, or it's a special celebration. A quick trip to Smart and Final, and you've got it covered. All the beverages, all the paper goods, all the desserts and appetizers, I mean everything, and all at low warehouse prices. Save on Crystal Geyser water, 35 half liter bottles, two cases for $9. Wow, we really saved a lot. So, whether it's a tailgate party or... Get Smart, Smart and Final, the smaller, faster warehouse store. Mom, can I have some fat? Can I drink another cup of sugar? Can we get some grease? And some processed junk food. Please, pretty please. Dad, could you buy me some diabetes? Some obesity? A shorter life? Thanks to bad eating habits, too many kids will develop type 2 diabetes. And even children under 5 are vulnerable. So when your child says, I promise I'll be good. Remember, your choices shape their chances. Norm's Restaurants, where life happens. On the next morning show, are you ready for some football? Are you ready for some football? Chef Guy Fieri's here, and he's going to show us how to throw the best Super Bowl bash on a budget. Plus, America's Sweetheart is here. Marie Osmond reveals how she's making miracles happen for kids. And get the truth behind food factor fiction. Mm -hmm. Today at 10 on Fox 11. A same-sex couple swaps with an intolerant new spouse. Your birth defect happened to be that you're gay. Trading spouses tonight at 9 on Fox 11. Ooh, this looks nice, Tony. Snow summit, nice cold. clear out there. It's supposed to be cold when you go skiing. Yeah, well, that's the whole point. You bundle up, you slap on those boards, and you point them downhill. I, I realize that's the point, and that's why I don't complain. That's why you don't go. And why I don't go. Exactly. It's breezy, too. You see the uh, pine tree there blowing in the wind. Yeah. It's Friday, you guys. Up and at them. It's going to be a good day. Two more hotel chains now have jumped on the anti-trans fat movement. They are banning the artery clogging fat from the restaurants. Michelle Turner right now in Pasadena to tell us uh, which hotels. Well, Gene, there's two more, like you said, the Marriott and the Omni, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about both. First of all, we're out in front of the Marriott on Fair Oaks in Pasadena this morning, and the Marriott has already banned smoking. So now they say they're taking the next step into uh, banning trans fats. They say they want to have their uh, customers even healthier than they were before. So very soon, no more trans fats at Marriott hotels. Now, here's the thing. They've already taken some steps to eliminate them. Trans fats have been already eliminated from the non-fried foods on the, uh, on the menu. Things like cookies, muffins, some of the desserts, things like that. This is going to affect all of the Marriott's, all the Courtyard Marriott's, all the Fairfield Inns, all of the hotels within the Marriott chain, more than 2,300 of them across the country. Also, Omni Hotels say they are eliminating the trans fats in their cooking oil as of March 1st, so a little less than a month away. Now, those trans fats, of course, the bad fats, the one that raise your bad cholesterol levels in the body. And if you don't know if you're eating them, well, what you need to do, take a look at the ingredients on some of the things that you eat. And if you see partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, then most likely, You've got some trans fats in there somewhere now. So we've seen the hotel chains. We're seeing the restaurants do it. The city of Los Angeles wanted to try to put in a ban um, by the city council, but they said they couldn't do that. So they're asking people to voluntarily eliminate trans fats from their menus. And it looks like people are starting to fall in line with that. That's the latest here in Pasadena this morning. We'll send it back to you. All right, Michelle, thank you. We have more breaking news from Rick Dickert up in Skybox. In Boyle Heights overhead. A two-story residential fire here, Tony and Gene. This is in Boyle Heights, close to the border of East Los Angeles on Chicago Street. We're real close to Hollenbeck Lake along the 5 freeway here, and you can see several L.A. City firefighters up on the roof of this two-story residential structure. A lot of smoke showing 
out of the roof. And those firefighters cutting holes in the roof of that structure to vent, to uh, release all the heat and the gases there. Firefighters on the ground as well. We don't know what started this fire, and we have no word of any, uh, of any injuries as of yet. Again, this is on Chicago Street, the 600 block in the Boyle Heights area, just north of East L.A., a little bit to the east of the 5 near Holland Beck Lake. And you can see firefighters uh, battling this fire here. And that rooftop, very steep, and you can see those firefighters kind of having a difficult time there with their footing on the rooftop there. Uh, once again, we don't know what started this fire, and we don't know if anybody's been injured yet, but you can see their firefighters are using their axes and saws to cut holes in the roof to vent uh, all the steam and smoke. It appears that most of the fire is confined to the second floor there. And you can see as we widen out a little bit, a couple other firefighters making entrance on the first floor. We'll continue to watch this. We'll bring you more updates if we get any more information a little bit later in the show. Back to you guys. All right, Rick, thank you very much. It is uh, 645 right now. We'll keep an eye on that fire for mm -hmm. you uh, throughout uh, the Fox Morning News and Good Day LA. Speaking of which, there's Dorothy Lucy in the newsroom. You're on Paris Hilton watch. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just listening to Tony. Oh. <laughs> See, Are it's still feeling? in there. I'm doing he better. He says he's better. better. I'm doing better. I'm he so says glad. he's well. Look at that. My bracelet came off. See, God is punishing me for doing this to Tony. Uh, Paris Hilton showing up a little late to work. Who would do that kind of thing? At least I was here for my teas this morning, right? So she's sort of annoying some of her coworkers by being late. It sounds so familiar. Uh, but Lindsay Lohan probably doing the healthy thing, dropping out of a movie. And Prince, he's sort of... Um, I would say he's turning into Michael Jackson, but he really probably wouldn't care for that. But, you know, he doesn't speak much in public, and um, we'll hear a little bit from him today. That's why we love him. He's a mystery. Just like and, and nothing Tony. like Michael Jackson, actually. Uh, well, yes, well, and just, he's... Just, just, just in the uh, quiet and public. Oh, yeah. right. And he I really rips right into now. it, though. He lets his guitar do his talking. All right, Dorothy, we'll see you out here in a bit. Meanwhile, interval training. <laughs> well, that's hard enough. It's even harder, though, when someone is always in your way, slowing you down at one of those crowded gyms. Lauren Sanchez reports now you can avoid that at a new gym strictly for interval training. And begin. Let's go. Everyone here starts by going all out at one exercise station. Two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Then on cue, they all switch and go all out again for a few more minutes. Pump it. Stand up. And they continue to do this killer pace for more than an hour. Torture. But good torture. Welcome to interval training at a new gym called Circuit Works in Venice. Switch, quick, quickly, quickly, quickly. A gym dedicated strictly to pounding your body with a constant rotation of aerobic and anaerobic exercise. You're going back and forth, not giving your body a chance to acclimate to one particular exercise system. Therefore, it increases your fat expenditure by at least 500%. Unlike most gyms, there is no waiting to get to the next exercise here. Look at where you're gonna go next. No chance of your heart rate dropping. Let's go, let's go. It's grueling even for those in the best of shape. It's very challenging, it really is. But afterwards, you know, you can really, you can really be exhausted. But you set the pace, which means people of all ability levels and ages can stay in the drill. People like 61-year-old Candy Boroditsky. For me, I've watched my heart rate monitor, and I've never had it this high for this long without dropping over and having a heart attack. But they all know CPR, they told me, so I'm good. All right, that was uh, Lauren Sanchez reporting for us. She tells us the workout burns up to 1,700 calories an hour, and you can see a difference in as little as two weeks. You can log on to our website at myfoxla.com to find out more about Circuit Works. All right, we got to run to breaking news with uh, Rick Dickert in a little bit, but Lisa, or which are we doing? We are uh, going to Lisa. I'm okay. sorry. We got breaking news coming yes. up. Sorry you're coming to me, but we'll, we'll try and entertain you uh, at least until we get to the breaking news. Super Bowl weekend. Usually a slow one for movie theaters with all the distractions on TV. But here's a look at what's new this weekend, uh, starting with something for you. Tony, you. this is for you. Are you? Hey, who is In The Messengers, a family moves into an old, rundown farm and finds the place comes with some scary baggage. You want to feel for this family. You know, you, you want to kind of root for them in a big way. You want to believe in them. What does it look like? Sienna Miller stars in Factory Girl. It's about the life and death of socialite Edie Sedgwick, a friend of legendary New York artist Andy Warhol. Edie, this is Andy. Hi. Oh, it's just amazing to meet you. I think you're just a genius. Oh. 
And in Because I Said So, Diane Keaton plays an overprotective mom on a mission to find Mr. Right for her daughter, played by Mandy Moore. One wrong decision can change your whole life. There's still time, Mom. Not if you waste another minute of it. I mean, for you. I so want to see that movie. Also opening this week in Constellation about a family struggling in the Deep South starring Billy Dee Williams and Gabriel Union. Uh, that movie is supposed to be, Andy saw it this week and he said, it reminds me of you and your mom and your sisters because there are four girls in my family, except for, I don't want to say that because then your mom's going to think that I think that she's really overbearing like that and, and she's not. So mm. Are we reading like, between the lines here? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Because he loves my mom. That's the thing. So that's why it, it, it's like in the fact that there are all those girls. There's a lot of, you know, hormones and estrogen and all. <laughs> All, that. <laughs> All right, Lisa, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. 650. Oh, right before now. you know it, Jillian will be saying hey, that. Jill. Because I say so. Stephen That'll Collins be you. was on our show yesterday. Yeah. Yes, and tomorrow on That's So Hollywood, I want to promote uh, Jackie um, Earl Haley, I think his name is, from Little Women. Okay. Please tell me that's his name. He plays the pedophile so well. Remember, oh, did yeah, you see yeah, that yeah. with Kate Winslet? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday. Yes. Woo! Oh, that's right. Yes. We don't get. No effects on this show. We're not allowed to have fun. Um, 60s this morning. Seven in most areas. We're warming up. This is Super Bowl Sunday weekend. The temperatures are going to go up into the 70s. It's going to be amazing. 66 in San Bernardino, 46 in Big Bear, 63 in Hemet, 69 in Palm Springs. Um, here's the deal. We have same forecast as yesterday for the Valley and the Inland Empire. Uh, we'll jump up a good 10 degrees almost by Saturday and then Sunday, 80 degrees. Back to you guys. Jillian, the actor you're promoting is actually in Little Children, not Little Women. Oh, okay. Little Children. Little Women was by that other famous <laughs> authoress. We got All breaking right, uh, news going back to this that fire. fire in yeah, Boyle stubborn Heights. fire here. We're seeing a lot more in the way of smoke than flames earlier. Now it's the other way around. A lot of flames shooting through the roof here of this two story residential structure in the Boyle Heights area, 600 block of Chicago Street. We're just east of the five near Hollenbeck Lake. And LA City firefighters kind of retreating off of that very steep roof there. You could see uh, them positioning there. They've been up there with their picks and axes and saws to try to cut holes in the roof to vent it. That's what they want to do, release that heat and the fire and the smoke out of there. We're hearing that all the residents of this structure are out of the building. We're not hearing of any injuries to any of those residents or any of the firefighters, but this is a precarious situation and that the uh, roof is very steep there. And it looks like they did get some water on it. Now you're seeing a lot more in the way of white smoke shooting through this residential structure here. Two stories here in Boyle Heights on the 600 block of Chicago Street. We'll have another update coming up in Good Day LA. I want to quickly let you know about a big problem working on the 10 freeway that is going to cause some problems for you westbound 10 commuters. 10 westbound at Arlington. Right lane taken away in the far left lane of the Arlington on-ramp to the westbound 10. Blocked because of a three-car wreck. Two cars up the embankment, one car on the Arlington on-ramp there. A couple trees taken out in the process. Look at the backup. This is the westbound 10 coming out of downtown Los Angeles towards mid-city. So if you typically take that stretch of the 10 to make your way west into West Los Angeles or Santa Monica, allow yourself a lot of extra time because it's really backed up there. Think about taking Pico or Wilshire as an alternate route. And Gene, I got a big event next uh, weekend as well. It's the Polar Plunge. So we're going to be outside in the water and it's raining. There you go. Oh, but you're a much harder soul than I, so. Yeah, he likes that stuff. Okay. All right, 653 right now. How you can help prevent an environmental catastrophe. With this report, provides the scientific evidence that the world has already been recognizing for a number of years, but that even those who had doubts can no longer now ignore. A new report concludes that humans, yes, we are responsible for global warming, and it may take centuries to improve things significantly. Fox 11 News is brought to you by those helpful people in the blue shirts, your Southern California Honda dealers. The guy said, lady, you need undercoating. I said, I don't want undercoating. He said, lady, protect your investment. I said, I don't want undercoating. Then he called me stupid. Robin, on behalf of the entire North American auto industry, I apologize. I wouldn't do that. I sell Hondas. It's my job to be helpful. Helpful. Have any gloves? Nope. How about boots? The Departed is now nominated for five Academy Awards, including Best Director Martin Scorsese, Best Supporting Actor Mark Wahlberg, and Best Picture, The Departed. Read it R. Now playing. 
Okay, kids, put away those video games. We're almost at Big Bear. Can't we go to the beach? We go to Big Bear every day. You know we wouldn't last a minute there before we had a complete meltdown. Come on, you guys were all over Big Bear last time. And three million of your friends will be there. I want to go on the cruiser runs. I'm going down the super pipe. And I'm taking Fluffy. Fluffy? Snow. Now arriving at Big Bear. What's your reason for calling Empire today for your new bath liner? No time to remodel? Update your bathroom without remodeling. Our bath liners fit right over your old tub and walls. Immediate installation? Empire installs next day. On a budget? Save with warehouse direct prices plus no payments till April 2008. No remodeling, next day installation, and no payments till April 2008. All great reasons to call Empire today. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. Power lines are highways for electricity we must maintain to keep a steady flow. And as California's power needs grow, more lines are needed to keep electricity flowing reliably. That's why Edison International has committed $9 billion to upgrade the system of wires that serves Southern Californians. It's an investment in reliability that benefits everyone in our state and an important step we're taking to help build the future for Edison customers. For over 100 years, life powered by Edison. Jewelry, the perfect gift. Half carat journey pendants, $199, matching earrings, $249, three stone rings, $149, and half carat eternal love pendants, $139. We guarantee the jewelry we make to appraise for double by Factory Direct, the jewelry exchange in Tustin. Stopping the morning rundown, dire warnings this morning from a United Nations report on global warming. Scientists say unequivocal evidence shows human beings us, we, are responsible for massive climate Steve? change. They say fossil fuels, agriculture, and land use will result in more extreme weather conditions. They say we already see that happening. The panel says it is now up to everyone to make changes to avoid future environmental catastrophe. The panel will release another report in April. All right, later this morning, sentencing set for nine uh, this morning. Four of the five or rather, four of the nine teenagers convicted in that racially motivated beating in Long Beach on Halloween night. The sentencing is set for 9 a.m. These kids have been found guilty of felony assault with what the judge calls uh, hate crime allegations for the attack on those three young white women. The ages of the kids being sentenced, 13 to 18 years old. Good news from... Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania. Spring is on the way. It's Groundhog Day there, and earlier this morning, Punxsutawney Phil made his yearly appearance. Didn't seem happy about it. He did not see his shadow either. So that means, so they say, that there will be an early spring. The last time Phil didn't see his shadow was 1999. Is that global, is that global warming? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, Phil's older than I am. This guy's got to be tired of the act by but now. But he drinks from uh, the elixir, Well, right? it's the only time, he, elixir. only time he gets out, Steve. By the way, yeah. uh, on a much more serious note, the death toll in Florida from that uh, 14. tornado up to 14, 14 now. 14 yeah. now, and I hope it is still uh, not rising after that. So we'll be covering that. Good morning to both of Good you. Morning. You've talked about this, the, this this morning. The mayor in San Francisco is quite a glamorous figure. Well, now he is apologizing for his affair with the wife of his campaign manager and actually uh, chief of staff. We will have that. And you remember this moment from Wednesday night's American Idol? Sherman auditioning as a tribute to his lifelong love. His wife would just passed away. Sherman Howard will be with us this morning. Thank you very much. Also, Donna Mills is here. We've got a lot more coming up. What else is coming up on the show? All right, we'll, we'll tell you everything else, but we'll get to the news weather traffic right after this.